Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel English Linguistics and Poetics. In our today's video, we shall concentrate on the figure of speech anaphora. So our today's topic is anaphora. So you know that it is a figure of speech. First, we shall concentrate on the definition, then we shall go to uh, next, we shall go to the uh, example, uh, example portion. So first definition. It is a figure of it is a figure of speech. It is a figure of speech or rhetorical device. Rhetor rhetorical rhetorical device. Poetic device. Instead of uh, figure of speech. It will be better to call it rhetorical device or poetic device in particular or literary device in general. It is a figure of speech or rhetorical device in which, in which the same word, the same word or expression, sorry, or the same expression is repeated repeated at the beginning at the beginning of the at the beginning of the of beginning of several of several successive clauses of sentences Sentences. It is also it is also known as ipanophora. Ipanaphora. Phora. Ipanaphora. It is also known as ipanaphora. So same word or same expression is repeated in at the beginning of a beginning of beginning of, of consecutive sentences, consecutive clauses of sentences. So the figure of speech characterized by the repetition of same word or same expression at the beginning of consecutive sentences is called anaphora. It is also known as hipanaphora. So examples. Now we shall move on to the example section. Example two, example, sorry, one, example two. You know, uh, these are two stanzas of two different poems. It is, you may have read or maybe familiar with these examples of lines, sorry. So it is from Tennyson's poem, Ring Out Wild Bells, one of the stanza of that poem, Ring Out Wild Bells, and it is a stanza from Blake's poem, London. Ring out wild, ring out wild shapes of foul disease. Ring out the narrowing last of gold. Ring out the thousand words of old. Ring in the thousand year of peace. The thousand, the thousand, the ring out the expression or group of words is repeated in a number of lines. Again, here, in, in every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of fear, in every voice, in every band, the mind forged miracles I hear. Here, the word every, or the expression in every, or in every cry, in, look, is repeated at the beginning of the of, of the successive sentences. Every, for example, or in every, or in every cry is repeated in the consecutive, at the beginning of consecutive sentences. So these are prime or finest examples of anaphora. So friends, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.